Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another plan with me and my Hobonichi cousin, and I'm going to be using some sheets from our Fall Winston collection from my shop. I have the Hobonichi cousin kit, both sheets right here. I love these colors. This was a kit that I revamped pretty recently, and I'm so happy with how it came out. I cannot wait to use the new version for the first time. I also have the Fall Winston bullet journal kit. So this has some large deco, watercolor splotches, some of these sort of torn paper looking designs. I have not used a bullet journal kit like this before and honestly I'm a little nervous about how it's going to work. I'm not sure how I'm going to incorporate everything into the spread but we'll see what happens. As usual I have two pens. I have my Twisby Eco to write on the actual planner paper and then to write on sticker paper I have my Zebra Sarasa Grand in the gold barrel. I will link everything down below from the planner to the pens to the sticker shops I mentioned. So if you're curious about where anything is from, you can check down there. Now let's go ahead and get started. I am definitely going to put down some of these larger deco pieces first because I just want to make sure that they get used and that there's room for them. Plus I'm scared of them, so I'm just going to start with them and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to put this really big piece right here at the bottom. <laughs> I think that looks really neat actually. That's so cool. I like that. It adds so much texture and interest. On top of that, I think I want to put our big Winston with the fox. Really cute. I love the big Winston stickers. It's like my favorite thing about these kits. Then maybe we'll go over here and do some sidebar stuff. Let me see in my notes which days are the emptiest. It's looking like Thursday, Saturday, and definitely Sunday. So I will probably put a box on Sunday as well. And I need some boxes on the front half of the week, too. Let's see. I'll put this one in my sidebar so that it's further away from the Fox over here, or the Fox Winston over here, just so it doesn't look too repetitive. And then I'll probably put this blue one on Thursday. And at least we get this one, which I think will look nice over here on Tuesday, maybe right about there. Okay, so there's my full boxes. This is going to be a fuller spread because I just happen to have more stickers to work with. Let's do our date covers real quick, get those put down. I'm glad I made these this sort of minty color because I feel like it's going to help it incorporate into the spread more. I always try really hard to balance colors as best I can when I'm designing. I know that this technically is not fall yet, as in fall hadn't started when I'm planning this, but I have several fall kits I want to use, so I'm starting a week early to make sure I get to all of those. Plus, as soon as September arrives, even if it's warm outside still where I live, which it pretty much always is, it just starts feeling like fall. So I think it's okay to start pulling in fall kits. I do the same thing with Christmas kits. I usually start using Christmas kits at the end of November, and I'll do one for Thanksgiving and then go right back to Christmas kits. <laughs> Here is our last date cover. Now, I think I'm going to put down the washi too. Again, I like this because it incorporates all the colors and really helps balance the spread. So put that down on one side. And then the other. 
I'll save the thinner strip because I normally put that at the bottom. But we've already got something on the bottom, sort of. So we'll just pass on that right now. I kind of want to put my weekend banner down and sort of layer it, but we'll wait on that too. I do want to use this big strip of, I don't know if you can see the texture on it. It's like crumpled up paper. I do want to use that. I just want to stick it right here. I don't know. We're trying new things today. Seeing what happens. And then I'm going to put our big pumpkin Winston over here in the bottom because I really want to use him. All right. Looking good so far. I really like it. So cute. It feels very different from my normal style, but that's okay. We're still having fun. So. We're going to roll with it. If I don't like how the spread turns out, I never have to do a spread like this again. Although I have a feeling I'm going to like it. So now I'm going to write down my Bible verse for the week. This week it was Hebrews chapter 12, verse 6. All right, next below that, as usual, I'm going to mark my Bible studies for the week. So I'm going to grab a Bible custom script from my shop, put that right there, and then I'll just write out what I've read each day. So Monday it was the first and second chapters of Philippians, okay that is going to finish up my sidebar. And now we can get into the actual spread. So let me zoom you in and we'll get started. All right, so Monday, Monday was Patriot Day, so I want to mark that. And I don't have a sticker for it, so what I'm going to try and do is take one of these little dot stickers from the kit and put that down and then draw a heart on it. So I'm sort of making a heart icon like that. All right, next I needed to make a list of releases for the vault sale. That was what I was working on at this point. And this took me a really long time just because I wanted to do a big release and I also had a lot of requests to filter through. So I think I'm gonna take a half box. I wanna use a blue one like this. Put it right here and grab a working sticker. And I'm going to layer on top of this, this working girl from rabbit hole handcraft and then in the little space that I have left I'm going to write make vault sale release list. A lot of the designs that I was doing for the vault sale needed to be updated because they were from years ago and they needed to have my new logo put on them and stuff so I'm going to draw this arrow and just write update designs underneath it because that was what I did after I finalized the list of designs I wanted to bring back. After that, I did some writing. So I'm going to mark that with this pencil Winston from my shop. Put that right there. And I was feeling super tired this day. I'm not sure why, unless it was just because I was doing a lot of work for the vault sale and I just kind of overdid it. But I'm going to mark that with this Not Today Winston. Really cute. I got a couple of packages this day. So I'm going to mark that as well. I love marking any type of happy mail in my planner. And I want to use the Winston 
package stickers in there. These ones from my shop. And I also want to add some color to this area. So I'm going to grab, I think this dark purple quarter box and stack it right here. Lots of layering in this spread. I got a couple different things from Poshmark today. At the end of the day, oh, this is funny. Okay, so I got the Poshmark Happy Mail, and then I also got another package from Amazon, I think it was. I got a couple of books delivered, but the person who delivered them mixed up my package with a neighbor's package, and my neighbor happened to also order books, so I actually opened my neighbor's package. I didn't even look at the title or the, not the title. I didn't look at the name on the package because I was expecting books and books showed up at my door. So I just opened the books, but it turned out to be his package. So I had to go over there and explain to him how I opened his package. He was really nice about it. He didn't mind at all. So that was good, but <laughs> I'll definitely be more careful opening my mail from now on. I felt super bad for opening his package. I'm going to use this Happy Mail Winston to mark that the books I got were Shady Hollow 2 and 3, which I was really excited about. All right, and at the end of the day, I'm just going to mark a reading. I was continuing the Diabolical Bones, which I have already finished and I mentioned it in a Reading vlogs, I will tag that in the cards if you want to check that out. I'm going to use this cozy reading Winston to mark that. It's just the perfect sticker to go with this cozy fall spread. Monday is done. So far I'm really enjoying the spread. It's definitely different from my normal style but I really like the added textures and just different designs we're working with. So let's go over to Tuesday. I did have a bill due on this day. So I'm going to take this clock sticker and put that right there. That is marked. I went for a walk in the morning. Let's see if I have a hiking sticker that will match the spread. I have this white sneaker that's from my shop that will do just fine. Then I wanted to continue updating designs, so I think I'll use a smaller box for that this day. Um, actually, I think I want to use this scallop label and not exactly a box. Let's grab another work sticker. I'm actually going to use this Do It Panda sticker that is from Happy Day. -a. Okay, next I think I'm actually going to put down this tiny checklist because I have several things I want to mark all in this little amount of space I have. So I'm going to go ahead and check those off. 
switch to my other pen. So I wanted to format sheets. And then post a sneak on Instagram. As well as post about vlog. About a vlog, not about post about vlog. <laughs> And then I wanted to budget. Okay. Ashley brought me pizza this day, which is really nice because I had leftover pizza at work. I'm going to mark that with a Pizza Winston. And how do I want to do this? Because I don't want it to line up exactly with the day before, so I might stack it sort of over here. Okay, maybe I could have done without the arrow, but it's fine. I'm just gonna roll with it. And then I kind of want to mark that it stormed this day because it hasn't been storming nearly as much as it normally does this year. But it stormed this day and it was nice. I like to be at home in the evening and just listen to thunderstorms. I think it's relaxing. See if I have any thunderstorm stickers. Actually, I think I'll use this umbrella from Carly Plans. All right, over to Wednesday. Wednesday, I think I'm going to start out with a dot checklist. Let's see, I need one, two, three, four, five of these. So let's put them down. One, two, three, four, and I'll have to repeat the last color. Five. Perfect. So first thing I needed to do this day was film a plan with me video. Then I needed to edit and upload that video. I also needed to work on listings for our vault sale, as well as print and cut new releases. And finally, I wanted to sneak the die cut freebie that we were offering as a special for the sale on Instagram. Here's my checklist for the day. I really needed to do laundry this day. Let me see. I think I'm actually going to lay out some of these watercolor splotches and then go from there. So I finished a book I was reading in the evening. And I always like to mark when I finish a book. So I think I'm going to lay this down to mark that. It does sort of go into the middle here, but I'm just going to fold it in and let it do that. It doesn't bother me. So that's marked. What else should I... Okay. 
let me just see which swatch I want to use. I like this orange one. I think I'm just going to put it down and whatever I end up marking there is fine with me. So I just want to use some swatches. I'm really enjoying this different combination of stickers. Okay, so I needed to do laundry, as I said already. Grab a laundry sticker. I'm going to use this laundry Winston, not the washing machine one that I have been using for a while now. Put that right there. And then I went for a walk, but after that I picked up some packages. So I think I might use the swatch to mark picking up packages, because that's always very exciting. I'll even put down this USPS truck. That is from Sugar Pop Fizz. Very cute. But I do still want to mark my walk, so I'm going to use this shoe again from my shop. After I picked up the packages, I already have a sticker down here for finishing the book I was reading. Again, it was called The Diabolical Bones. So let's grab another reading sticker. I really liked this book, so I think I'm actually going to mark finishing reading it with one of these Winston holding a book stickers. So cute. Alright, and now we can move on to the second half of the week. This day, I really didn't have a lot going on. I had plans and stuff and it just didn't work out, so my day ended up being a bit more relaxed. I think I'm going to start the day with a checklist. Uh, I think I want to use this sort of... What color would you call this? I'm not even sure. But I'm going to use this checklist. Actually, I'm going to use a header and then a checklist because the to-do header matches this. So I think that would look cute, just like this. Okay. So I wanted to film another video. This is a new release video though. And then edit and upload. As well as do listings. And also set up the coupon code and graphic. Okay, then I did some more writing. So I'm going to take, should I do a swatch or a box? I think I'll do a, just a half box. I'll keep switching it back and forth between the boxes and the swatches. Put that down, grab a writing sticker. I'm 
And I'll switch it up today and use the Penn Winston. And then below that, I need a happy sticker to mark something exciting that happened in my personal life. I'll just mark that off camera later. I think I'm gonna use this Winston holding a heart, the orange one. This matches pretty well. Moving to the bottom of the day. I needed to do some planning for a vacation we were going on. So I'm gonna use this dark purple dot right there. And then the last thing I have to mark is that I did some more laundry. I washed towels on this day, so I'll mark that too, just for fun. I don't have anything else to mark really anyway, because like I said, some of the stuff that I had planned for this day ended up falling through. So I had some extra time to just relax. And for laundry, I'm going to use this laundry sticker, which is from Stick With The Plan Co. Heading over to Friday. Definitely want to use a Made It To Friday sticker. If I have one that will match this spread, because the colors are kind of, not weird, but <laughs> I think orange is the only like normal color in here. I only have two of these left on the sheet right now, but I think I can make this sort of purplish one work. So I'm gonna put it up here a little bit, just into the washi this is kind of a busy day so i want to have room for everything okay so in the morning the first thing i needed to do was back up my files so i'm going to mark that with a dot from the kit Next, I want to mark that our vault sale began this day, and I'm going to use a watercolor swatch for that, paired with this Excited sticker, which is from a shop that no longer exists. I think I'm gonna use this to mark vault sale and filling orders. I think I need to, yes, put down a little label for something that I'm going to mark later off camera. Let's use, I'll just use this thin purple one, that's fine. Just like that. Underneath that, I needed to do the email newsletter for our shop just to make sure that went out to let everyone know about the sale. So I'm gonna use this dot for that. And then we had to run several errands. I had to go to the library, the post office, and Aldi. Then I needed to, well, I didn't need to, but I wanted to cut my hair. I actually ended up having Ashley cut my hair. So let's see. Let's start going to Aldi first. I wish I had another blue half box, but I don't. So actually, well, no. I was, I want to use blue here, but because it's next to that blue box, I don't want it to be overwhelmingly blue in this area. So let's see what we can make happen with some other stickers. I 
might use this blue car from Happy Daya. So it's just a little bit of extra blue. And then I'll just make a checklist of where we went. As I said, post office. library and Aldi. And then this evening I let Ashley cut my hair. I just really wanted to change it up and we were going on a vacation soon and I have or I had pretty long hair and sometimes it can be super annoying dealing with long hair on vacation especially because I don't wash my hair every day and the, when I do wash it, it's kind of like a process because I like to let it dry naturally and stuff. So I decided to just cut it off up to my chin <laughs> and it's been nice. I've been enjoying having shorter hair. If you've been watching my vlogs, then you've seen my new haircut. All right, and obviously that haircut Winston is from my shop. The last thing I want to mark is that I started a new book in the evening. This one was a historical fiction novel called Between the Pages, and I also mentioned it in that reading vlog that I put in the cards earlier, so if you want to hear about it, you can check that video there. I'm going to mark this little reading. Well, I'm going, oops. I'm going to mark starting the book with this new reading sticker, little reading sticker from Happy Day Up. A little cramped, but we can make it work. Okay, on to the weekend. I think I slept in, yes, I slept in both days. So I will mark that, get some sleep in stickers. I'm going to use this one from Once More With Love on Saturday because it was the last one on that sheet. So that is taken care of. And then on Sunday, I think I'm going to use this orange one. Perfect. All right, now for the actual weekend festivities. So I need another half box or quarter box. I might just use a quarter box. Okay, scratch both those ideas. I'm gonna use this little cat in a teacup sticker, which I don't know where it's from because I have the sheet, but it doesn't have a shop name. It just has the name of the sticker. So I've never been able to find these stickers again. I have no idea where I bought them from, but they're really cute. So I keep using them. Anyway, I'm going to mark something private there after I get off the internet. I hope y'all don't mind me doing that. It's just, I do like to keep some things private, but I also want to share my planner with y'all. So I kind of have to make it work as best I can. All right, so next I'm going to put down a half box to mark that we went and did some shopping. We went thrifting and then we also went to Fresh Market. I love going to Fresh Market. I feel like they have really cool snacks there. So I'm gonna put down this half box and grab a shopping sticker. Now that I think about it though, I think Fresh Market might be a local-ish thing, like a North Carolina thing. Let me know if you have Fresh Market where you live. And if you have it, do you like it? I think they have a really good selection of stuff. And also their pre-made food is really good. They have this granola that they make with freeze-dried strawberries. Oh, it's delicious. I highly recommend it if you like granola and strawberries. All right, 
we got home, honestly, I did not do a ton of stuff. This is a super busy week getting ready for the vault sale, so I kind of just took it easy, but I did do some planning for our upcoming vacation, so I'm going to mark that with this dot on this side. And I spent the rest of the day reading and I went for one walk. So not a ton of stuff going on to mark really. So to mark going for a walk, I think I'm actually gonna take one of these winter on the go Winstons and use it to mark that because they're so cute. I just really wanna use one. Which color though would match the best? Maybe this blue one. I'm gonna take actually this blue one because I like it and I think it matches well enough. And like I said, I just read for the rest of the day. So let me see what kind of reading sticker I can find. Okay, I think I'm going to use one of these reading stickers from Rabbit Hole Handcraft. These are really cute, and they're a little bigger, so they take up more space. Put that right there. But above that, I think I'm actually going to use this sticker from Once More With Love. And maybe put it... Yep, that'll fit perfectly. I'm going to put it on this watercolor swatch. And this is going to be to mark that we had butternut squash chili for dinner which was so good. Ashley found this recipe that she wanted to try and I just wasn't sure how I felt about butternut squash in a soup or like a soup-ish type recipe, but she made it and it was so good. I think it's my new favorite type of chili. All right, now we go over to Sunday. This day was even more empty than the day before. So I started another book this evening. Let me see what I can... Okay, I finished the book and started a book, so I can mark both of those things, I think, if I have enough room, which I definitely should, because I have like one other thing to mark this day. So I think I'm going to use these. I haven't used these yet this week, but first I want to grab a sheet of our Lazy Day Sloth stickers and put one of these down. This is going to be my main attraction for this day, just like that. And then below that I will take the sort of pale bluish reading Winston, snuggly reading Winston, I'll put that right there. And I'll just mark both the book I finished and the book I started. So I finished between the pages. And then I began this book called Cold Clay. All right. Let me get the white out. All right, that is fixed, sort of. Okay, crisis averted. Okay, that is going to take care of my week. Let me zoom you out and I'll show you the whole thing. So, for my first time trying to combine 
this sort of kit with a regular kit. I honestly think it looks really good. It might be a little busy, but I'm okay with that. I think it's fun, it's cute, it's different, interesting, and I like it. I think I'm going to do this more in the future. I only have a couple of this type of bullet journal kit in my shop, but I'll try and put more in so that I can keep up with these spreads. Very curious to hear what y'all thought of it. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, thank you so much for watching and supporting my shop, and I will see you next time. Bye!